getting married. Hello everyone, you're welcome to yet another episode of Movie Reviews brought to you by Business Day. And as usual, my name is Linda. Today we'll be talking about no other movie but the blockbuster movie, Avengers Infinity War. The universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Over the past 10 years, the Marvel group have actually dominated the cinema by producing award-winning movies starting from Iron Man in 2008, which featured Robert Downey, and so far they have grossed 15 billion US dollars in the cinema world. Thanos once, so that's what we use. The 156-minute movie, action-packed movie, started really well, although there were some skepticals about it. The movie has actually dominated the cinema by actually bringing in $230 million domestically in revenue and $630 million globally, making it the highest ever grossing movie so far. The end is near. They spent about $300 million in producing the movie next to Pirates of the Caribbean, and it was a perfect movie. It was directed by Anthony Russell and Joe Russell. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. The movie started with Thanos, who was the evil guy who wanted to dominate the world. He had to go around the world to pick up five gemstones so that he could have power to destroy every other power. The movie featured 36 superheroes. We had Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Black Panther, and of course Thor. It was a perfect movie. To my verdict, I would say the movie deserves an 8 over 10. Why? Because I'm trying to be selfish. I absolutely didn't really like the end. I felt it should have ended better and my superhero should still be alive. I know I'm selfish, but if you do have any review which is different from mine, please do feel free to send us your review. If you do want to stand a chance to win a free movie ticket, please do follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at businessdayng.com. And please don't forget to subscribe. See you next week. Things should be. Ah! I hope they remember you.